Hey guys, my name is Alexis Rosado and this is your word of encouragement. Today I want to talk about being real. Not only being real with yourself, but being real with God. If you want to join me, go ahead and grab your Bibles. I am currently looking at Psalms 145, 18. It reads, the Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. Now that is just a very brief um, scripture, but throughout many areas in the Bible, it talks about the importance of coming in truth. The other day I was asking myself, what is being coming in truth? What does that mean? What does that mean? And I really think that coming in truth means being real with God about what you are upset about and also what you are thankful for, just leaving it all out in truth. I think sometimes in the church, we feel like we have to come correct. We have to come cleaned up. We have to come um, just being thankful and filled with joy and like, glory to God, amen, 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 amen. But the truth is, that's not, God knows the desires of your heart and he knows what's going on in you. So if you have unforgiveness, if you're upset about something, you can come into the church, right? Physically in the building and be like, I'm doing great. But you know what's interesting about this quarantine time? All of the churches are meeting at home. We're at home with God and God wants to have this appointment meetings with us. It's been interesting because during this time, a lot of people have asked me, I don't, they've said, I don't even know how to pray. How do I pray? How do I pray? I, I don't know what to pray about. And the answer goes all the way back to this very message that I want you to get today for your word of encouragement is be truthful, be real. What do I mean by that? Well, that doesn't answer how I pray to God. Do you look at scriptures, do you this? I think the number one step to freedom, I think if everybody took a chance to just sit with themselves, which by the way, we are stuck doing during this time. If you have a, a moment to sit with yourself and be real with God, I believe that breakthrough will happen. I believe breakthrough will happen. Again, the Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. So when you feel far away, you feel like you're struggling, one of the number one steps you can do is spend time with God and be truthful. I'm also gonna read out of John 4, 24. It is confirmed there too. And it reads, let me flip to that page, let me flip to it. 4, 24. So I'm at John 4, yep, 24. God is spirit and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. So there you go, we see it again. Worshiping in spirit and truth. I think sometimes we think we gotta be like, thou who art thou, let me just pray, God, thank you thou sovereign T and wondrous, majestic. No, that's, 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 that's not real. Do you talk like that in real life? When I talk to God, I go, hey God, like I'm frustrated about this. Like, hey daddy, like I'm stressed out. Ooh, God, help me to remain patient in the midst of this circumstance. And sometimes I don't even know what to say. And guess what? There's scripture that says that the spirit knows the groans of our heart, groans of our spirit. So even when we just come in prayer, God just knows the desires of our heart. He knows the deepest parts of our spirit. So during this time, when there is a lot of stuff going on, there's a lot of, of, of these tips of what you can do and what you should do, all these things, all I'm saying is be real. Be truthful with yourself and also with God. If you are upset, if you are happy, if you are mad, if you are sad, if you are confused, I believe that God wants to hear what you have to say. He wants to hear what you have to say. And I believe true freedom comes from that. Scripture says the truth will set you free. The truth will set you free. Truthfulness is welcomed by God because he wants you to be free. You don't need to be in bondage of, in bondage for um, fear, in bondage of, of lies, in bondage of, of um, anxiety. God does not want those things from you. But in order for him to actually free you of those things, you better come with the truth. Hey God, I'm taking this out of the darkness and into the light. It is not this hidden thing I'm trying to cover up. I'm gonna bring it to you and be like, this is where I'm at. This is where I'm at. And I believe that God goes, Thank you. I can finally 
help you in that area. I can finally be there for you. I can finally carry that burden. It says to cast your burdens on him. And so I get it. This isn't this deep, deep, deep message, but I believe it is a fundamental principle in order for us to be who God has called us to be, in order for us to be free, and in order for us to overcome lies from the enemy about fear and anxiousness. I believe that this is a step one to freedom. Be real. Be truthful because the truth will set you free. Going to God in truthfulness is welcome. And the truth is the only way you can get to the real life solution. Not the fantasy, not the lies, the real life solution. Now the next area about what truth is, once we can come in truth, then we have to read the word of God, which is true, to help replace those lies. So next week, that is what I'll be talking about. How, what are we feeding our spirits? And how can we feed ourselves truth instead of lies? So we'll continue that next week. Thank you so much for hearing this word of encouragement. I encourage you. Let me pray with you right now. Lord, Father, God, I just thank you so much for everybody that is listening and watching this video. I just pray that they come to you boldly and honestly. I think that there is just, um, I'm remembering Moses in the Bible, Lord, how he legitimately came to you being like, I have a stuttering issue. I don't know if I want to do it. I don't know. And what I love is that, or, and he even said like, what do you do when this happens? And I love that you respond. You respond with answers to those problems. You respond with resources. You respond with the truth. And Lord, I just pray during this time, anybody that is battling anxiousness, that is battling lies, that is battling um, fear, I just pray, Father God, that you just comfort them and remind them that all of them is welcome here. That's what I just hear right now. All of you is welcome here. God welcomes your peace. God welcomes your lot, your your art, your fears. Lord, I just pray that you help people remember that all of them is welcome here. Thank you for the work you are doing. I thank you that people will come to you in truth and boldness and honesty, Lord. And I declare and decree that you will meet every single need. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.